Hi, I'm attorney Shadi Lai Schaefer from the Asset Protection and Elder Law Center. I'm also the host of Trust Talk Radio that airs every Sunday at 10 a.m. on 101.5 FM. So listen into the show. We talk all about estate planning. We share legal questions on the show, and actually you can submit your legal questions to me, and I'll answer them on the show. So I wanted to follow up on the topic of probate and probate administration. If you remember, this is the process where when someone passes away, um, they a family member would actually step in, file a, pro a procedure and process with the probate court in the county the person passed away in where they would administer the estate so that they could pay off the creditors and then whatever's left in the estate would go to the rightful heirs of the person that died. So I wanted to talk about the type of authority the judge will give to that person um, in order for them to do, do the administration of the person's estate that passed away. And there's three types, generally speaking, in the probate court. One is full authority, the other one's limited authority, and then the third is a blocked account. Okay, so it's a lot of information to cover and I'm just going to briefly talk about the differences between those three. Um, full authority generally um, is when an administrator goes in and says, Mr. Judge or Mrs. Judge, there is the, this is the estate, it's financial accounts and real property. And a lot of times when real property is involved, that is where a judge has to give full authority to the administrator to manage things for the person that has died. Um, to be able to list the property for sale, sell the property, get the money and proceeds from the property to pay off creditors, and then whatever's left, it would get distributed um, uh, based on uh, the probate uh, legal um, process or a will, if there is a will, um, it would get dis administered as um, set forth under the person's will. Okay, So full authority is when that person, the administrator generally has real full authority over the entire estate. Okay, So they kind of can just do more or less pretty much everything. The court still supervises it, but that individual, the administrator, has full authority to sell the property and manage the property and, and the financial accounts and so on. Limited authority generally is when there is no real estate assets and there's mostly financial accounts. So the court's saying, okay, uh, Ms. Schaefer has the ability to to um, administer her family member's estate on a limited authority, just to uh, just regarding these financial accounts. And there's a list of the financial accounts. All of this gets filed with the courts. And so then I would have, once I get approved, I would be able to administer um, those financial accounts. So that's what the limited authority is. And the third is a blocked account. So a blocked account is when uh, generally when there's something going on, and I don't want to say fishy, but there's some issues that come up. So a lot of times the administrator is not someone that's really the best suited to manage monies. Maybe that person doesn't have really good credit. Uh, maybe someone objected, you know, you know, maybe the girlfriend of my brother came in and was like, hey, I don't want you to be the administrator. Um, I should be the administrator. And, and I object to you being the administrator. And so, um, or a family member, probably in that scenario, a family member would step in and object more so than a girlfriend, but it has happened. And so sometimes the blocked account, what the blocked account really is, um, is that all the money in that person's estate would go into a blocked account at the bank and it's set up that it's a blocked account, meaning the only time you can take money out of that account is through a court order. So basically in that scenario, the judge would have to oversee everything before any money ever goes out of the probate administration and the estate of that the the estate of that person so um, it's a very limited authority there's a lot of control that the the courts have um, over the the probate administration in a blocked account. So there's three different types of authority given to administrator. All these things have to be approved by the court and it all is processed through um, and according to the California probate rules. So this is one of the reasons why you want to have an estate plan so you don't have to go through all this. But I felt that it was important to explain the different types of authority that is given to administrator to administer the estate of a loved one when it goes through the probate court system. So stay Stay tuned. I'm going to talk more about um, probate and the other things to expect in a probate administration. And as always, I'm attorney Shadi Lai Schaefer from the Asset Protection and Elder Law Center. And make sure you tune in to my show every Sunday at 10 a.m. Trust Talk Radio on 101.5 FM. Thanks for listening.